Let's walk through the process of turning yourself into a nice hologram using Melt Studio. Okay, so I already have my background set up and I have my video device with a chroma key because I really want the hologram to blend with the background. Let's introduce the blue color to the hologram using the tint effect. Add just the white color to a light shade of blue and set black to a darker shade of blue. There you go. Use the brightness and contrast to add some light to your hologram. Now we really want the outer glow. So let's use glow styles for that. Okay. Decrease choke, increase size all the way up, change the color to a light blue. Now the key element for your hologram, Venetian blinds. Stack it on top of the tint effect and play around with the settings to get your holographic look. Set the angle to 90 degrees. I'll set completion to something like 50. Width will be something like 6 for me. Feather will be something like 2. All right, we are halfway there. Now duplicate your video device layer. Let's call it blur. Apply the directional blur effect to it. Stack it on top of tint. Set the angle to 90 degrees and increase the blur. Now what you see happening here is that you are adding a light continuity to that scan line effect that you created in the first layer with the Venetian blinds. And just like that, you turned yourself into a hologram using Meld. I hope you liked this video. I cannot wait to see what you are going to come up with. Share with us in the comments and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.